Okay, while I'm a, a big believer in a lot of cryptids, uh, this was a, something that made the rounds uh, back in the day. These Japanese fishermen caught what they claimed was a plesiosaur. And if you look at the carcass, the carcass at first glance looks like one, but at second glance it doesn't. And what it really was, was a basking shark that had uh, died and was still floating around and got caught in the net. Uh, you can see what was mistaken for the head right there. And then these things, as, as, they, uh, as it decayed, it, it, it spread out and became uh, uh, more like the plesiosaur carcass. So all this stuff fell away. Uh, throughout history, on the, specifically on the uh, east coast of the United States, these giant blobs would, would float up. And those were uh, the, what was left over of carcasses of great whales. Uh, and they, they, we call them the, these blobs would float up and they were just actually the fat off of whales that just uh, would float up and, and, and get onto the, to the beaches. Now, uh, are there, was there a Loch Ness monster? Probably at some point there was. Uh, the Lake Champagne monster is, is much more compelling. It's a much larger lake, uh, Lake Okapogo. Uh, and uh, Champ, and uh, if you look in the the Democratic Republic of the Congo, that there's a swamp there that's as big as Arkansas, and that's uh, home to a lot of weird stuff. And probably the Mohili Membe is a uh, sauropod of some kind. But the the ocean has a lot of weird stuff in it. Uh, it has megalodon still in it. And uh, anyway, this, this, that one thing that the Japanese fishermen thought was actually a uh, basking shark, and they, and they were fil their filter feeders. So this stuff wasn't as robust as, say, another shark that has large teeth. Uh, th this thing easily corroded off. Uh, it isn't like a, uh, a great white shark or a bull shark that has a robust lower jaw. In any way, I believe that's the mystery of uh, what was caught by the Japanese fishermen. Thank you, I'm out.